All right, now on to a coronavirus update. Daily infections over the weekend reaching a nearly four-month high. So Israeli authorities are again looking to cap the spread and to fix the government's, quote, insufficient actions. Anna Rifkin with the report. Over a thousand daily infections on both Friday and Saturday. The highest recorded spread rate in Israel since the end of March, nearly four months ago. And the infection coefficient likewise rising to almost 1.5 percent, at least 63 people in serious condition. The death toll at 6,448. Then, Health Minister Nitzan Horowitz saying that government action thus far has been insufficient. The relative good news, though, is that thanks to Israel's vaccine campaign, most new infections are minor and do not require hospitalizations. Health expert Iran Segal putting things in perspective, saying that when we first crossed this threshold in November, the critically ill rate was roughly 26 per day, whereas today the number is around 8. Therefore, the coronavirus cabinet still trying to raise restrictions, but without resorting to lockdowns or other major disruptions to public life. Among the changes, a two-part push to provide Israelis more autonomy. Part one being to flood the country with reliable self-testing kits, and part two being the creation of official plans based on said kits. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett saying the test must become routine, like taking your temperature. Meantime, Prime Minister Bennett, Health Minister Horowitz, and Economy Minister Orner Barbivai meeting with event hall owners to formulate plans for indoor spaces. And they decided on the revelry pass, which, if approved, would put appropriate limits on large weddings, celebrations, standing performances, parties, and conferences. The framework, which doesn't cap the number of guests, does limit gatherings to people who are vaxxed, recovered from the virus, or who present a negative COVID test from within 48 hours of the event. Also, event halls found to be violating the rules would be subject to 5,000 shekel or $1,500 fines. The rules would not apply to sit-down culture events like theaters, movies, and concerts.